Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. And today, I wanna talk to you about how to reduce your, no, no, restate, oh no, how to gift. I can't remember what the title was, I just wrote the title, I already forgot it. It's how to gift, um, out of your estate, basically. How to give away money in the right way. Um, so, before I do that though, I wanna remind you, if you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate, and you wanna talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, so um, this was actually a, um, a discussion I had with one of the other attorneys in my office today. It was just about gifting in general, and I thought it would be good for you to know as well. And um, here's the thing. Um, there are certain gifts, amounts, that you can do every year to as many people as you want. There are no tax filings. There is nothing to do. In 2022, which is when I'm recording this video, it is $16,000 a year. So if you have six kids, you can give each of them $16,000 every year, and you don't have to file any gift taxes, you don't have to report it or anything like that, you just give them the money, okay? Um, if you are married, then you can give $32,000 per kid. Each of you can give $16,000 to as many people as you want. They don't have to be related. You can just give it to them, okay? So. That is the first thing to consider about gifting. If, however, you have a scenario where you want to gift some money, whether it be to your kids or to someone else, and you don't want to give them the money outright, um, either because um, you don't want them to spend it wrongly, or maybe they are too young to spend it. Let's say they're under under 18, they're just young, 10, let's say they're three years old, right? Not gonna have anything to do with that money. Then there is an extra step that you may want to consider that will allow you to still gift and still utilize this money for their benefit, um, but reduce your estate and thereby hopefully reduce your estate tax exposure when you are finally gone. Um, the One of the ways to do this, probably the easiest way to do this, is with um, an irrevocable trust, okay? Irrevocable means you cannot change it. The reason it has to be an irrevocable trust is because if you create a revocable trust, one that, one that you can change, then those assets in a revocable trust, they stay in your estate when calculating estate tax uh, liability when you're gone. So um, you wouldn't want to gift to your revocable trust because you're basically giving to yourself. So you create an irrevocable trust. It acts like a separate entity and it basically is a separate entity. So when you gift to that trust, then you are moving money out of your estate you are reducing your estate tax exposure and you are benefiting whoever you want to under that trust. Now, same with the trust. The beneficiaries of that trust are going to be technically the gift receiver. So you can give $16,000 per beneficiary under the trust. So if you have six kids, they're all beneficiaries under this trust. You can give the same amount as at the beginning. It would just be to the trust. Then that money would stay in the trust for them, it could be used for their benefit, but when you die, whatever is in there, including the growth, is not going to count against your um, estate tax liability calculation, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So that is going to be really the best way to give. There are other things that you can do with charity, but we're really talking about giving to benefit your family or to benefit someone that you want to benefit that's not charitable, charitably related, okay? Um, okay, that's it. So hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions about that, please let me know. Hit the, you know, leave them here, leave comments anywhere. I will answer them. Um, um, if you like this, maybe hit the like button, or if you can subscribe, if you want, if you don't want to miss future information or future topics, future talks. And if you have things that you want to talk about related to estate planning or probate, and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay. That is it for today. Um, as always, I am Christopher Small. I am the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning. We do probate. We do it well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you, and I will talk to you again soon. See you.